mat down if you like it. We're going to start standing and we're going to have our props handy, but we won't need them right off the bat. So once we're all nice and standing, I'm going to come a little bit farther away so I don't kick anything. I'm going to ground my left foot into the floor and we're going to start with a fun little balance challenge. So if I just kind of bend my knees slightly, like I come into a little baby squat, I'm going to take my right foot and tap it on the floor over and across my left foot and then bring it behind me to tap it behind. So I'm in this kind of little baby squat. So my left leg is on. I'm feeling that kind of nice little burn there in that left leg as I bring the foot forward and back. My hips are neutral and my core is still engaged. Now, if this is as far as you want to go, stay here. If you want to take that balance challenge up a notch, then rather than tap your foot on the floor in the front and the back, hover it and just slowly make a little semicircle front to back. Changes a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah. And again, you can do whatever you need to with those arms in order to make these little circles. Two more. So one, one, and then two, two. Perfect. Shake it out a little bit. You probably are feeling a lot of calf stabilizers and that's awesome. That's what I want. So now my right leg is going to be my workhorse. So if I stand up tall, baby squat down, find that nice little squat, and again, bringing the left foot across and then in back. And again, just lightly tapping it on the floor as I make that little semi-circle. Perfect. And again, just baby squatting down. You can go as far down as you'd like if you wanted to do a full squat. Just know that sending the leg behind you might get a little tricky. Perfect. And again, you're going to notice with one leg, your balance is a little bit more precarious than its neighbor. Two more, and then we'll do that little hovers that we did before. Perfect. So now again, if you'd like to take it up a notch, don't touch that foot to the floor as we send it forwards and backwards. Beautiful. And again, you're feeling like, oh, there are all my stabilizers in my leg, because now I'm not setting this left foot down and getting that little micro break in between to help balance. How's your hips? Are they in neutral? How's your core? Is it neutral? Beautiful. Two more. So this is one, and then this is two. Beautiful. You can stand on up, shake it out a little bit. I'm going to stretch my arms all the way overhead, arms up, face to the sky, nice deep inhale. Exhale, just give me a little roll down articulating that spine down. Once I'm as far down as I can go, I'm just gonna stack my spine up one vertebrae at a time with my head and then my hands being the final thing to come up. And then of course, we're all moving forward yet again, all the way down and stacking my spine up one vertebrae at a time. We're gonna do this two more times before we move on. So I want your spine nice and mobile, and everything is stretched out. Perfect. Last one, as we come all the way forward, and then up, 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 up. Once we're all the way up, you can shake it out. Now we need a little bit of room behind us. I'm gonna use the wall as a balance point because that's how we would normally do this in the studio. So ground that right leg into the floor, keep it as straight as possible, straight spine, Nice deep inhale. As I exhale, I'm going to hinge forward and send my left leg out behind me. And then as I inhale, come on up. So I'm exhaling, hinging forward. Perfect. Keeping my left hip down, pointed towards the floor, and coming on up. Now I'm going to use the wall because always when we do this in the studio, I have you grab the ballet bar for safety. If you don't need it, don't use it. Perfect. This is just little optional add-on for our day. Perfect. Two more, and then we'll start adding on. So again, my spine is straight, my hips are in neutral. Perfect. The last one, and then we'll add on. And again, making sure that hip is pointed down. Beautiful. Now when I come forward, we're going to add some pulses. So I've hinged forward, pulse, pulse my left leg, and then back up. So again, exhale forward, pulse, pulse, and back up. Let's do two more. Keep it short and sweet. Coming all the way forward, 
pulse, pulse, and back up. Last one, all the way forward, pulse, pulse, and back up. Beautiful. Now let's try it on the other side. So I'm going to ground my left leg into the floor. And now when I hinge forward, send the right leg back. Inhale, coming on up. Exhale, coming forward. Again, my right hip is pointed and pressing towards the ground as I come forward and back up. Beautiful. And again, just starting to notice that little balance difference from one side to the other. Again, you're more than welcome to use the wall and pretend it's the ballet bar that we have in the studio. Or if you don't need it at all, that's a-okay. Beautiful. Two more, and then we'll start our pulses. Excellent. One. And then two. Come all the way up. Now let's add some pulses. Going all the way forward. Pulse, pulse. And then back up. Hinging forward, keeping our spine nice and neutral. Pulse. Pulse and up. Two more. All the way forward. Pulse, pulse and up. Last one. Coming forward. Pulse, pulse and back up. Beautiful. Now let's go back to that right leg since it's had a little bit of a break and add on. So now when I hinge forward, my left leg is back. Pause. Pull that left knee in. Press it all the way out. And then come up. So it's like a tabletop bend and extend. We sometimes do this on our back, but now we're just looking at the floor while we do this. So hinging forward, pulling in, pressing out, and coming up. Three more. All the way over, pull in, press out, come up. Beautiful. Coming forward, pulling in, pressing out, and up. Last one. Forward, pull in, press out, come up. Beautiful. Now let's add some rotation to that. So if I hinge forward, my leg is back. Now rotate that hip up to the sky, pull it back down to the floor, and come on up. Let's try that again. So hinge all the way forward, rotate this hip to the sky, pull it back down to the floor, and then up. Beautiful. Two more. Hinge forward, add that rotation, come back to center, and up. Last one, all the way forward, rotate, back forward, and up. Beautiful. Shake, shake, shake it out. Now let's walk legs. So my left leg is going to go straight forward. As I hinge forward, pause, pull the right knee in, press the right knee out and come up. So coming all the way forward, pulling that knee in, pressing it out, and coming up. Again, neutral hips, core is still nice and engaged as I do this, and three more. So hinge forward, in, out, up, two more. Hinge, pull the knee in, press it out, come up, more, hinge, pull in, out, up. Beautiful. So now let's add that rotation in. So if I hinge forward, I'm going to open that right hip up to the sky, lower it down, and come up. Beautiful. So hinge forward, rotate to the sky, back to the floor, and up. Excellent. Forward. Rotate, back to forward, and up two more. So, hinging forward, rotate, back forward, up last one, hinge, rotate, back forward, and up. Beautiful. From here, I'm going to go ahead and reach my hands up overhead, really nice and tall, and then lean to the right. So, I'm trying to kiss my little baby ribs down to my hip bones as I go straight over, keeping my left shoulder down and back in the socket. As I come back up to center, now I'm going to go the opposite direction. The opposite way, trying to again bring lower ribs to hips. Beautiful. 
And again, going to the right, and just stretch, 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 stretch. Shoulders are down and back in those sockets. All the way forward, stretch, 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 stretch. Back up. Now this time, let's add some rotation. I'm gonna lean over to the right as I can, and then rotate to look at the floor. Come back to my side bend, and then up. And again, leaning over as far as I can to the left, Rotate, look at the floor, come back to my side bend, and up, beautiful. One more to the right, one more to the left. Rotate, back to center, and up. And of course, left side left, coming all the way over, rotate, back to center, and up. Beautiful, now dive forward one more time. Give me that nice roll down. Walk my hands out. So I'm going to a sneaky, sneaky plank, and then walk my hands back. Perfect. Once my hands are back to my feet, I'm going to walk forward again, just kind of warming up those arms, warming up those shoulders, and then walk backwards. Beautiful. Here, good angle so you can see this better. Walk forward, find that big, beautiful plank, and then walk back. Don't worry, we're just going to do one more of these. Walking forward, and now it's just hang out here in this lovely plank. Because who doesn't love a good plank for a ton of four? So four, three, two, one. You can set those knees down. If you'd like, you can sink into a child's pose, or if there's another stretch that feels good for you and your body, feel free to do that now. So just kind of work any kinks and tension and aches and pains out of your body. Take a nice deep inhale, exhale on out, and now we're going to come back onto our forearms and do an elbow plank. So give me a nice good old fashioned elbow plank. We're just going to hang out here. Nice deep inhales, deep exhales, beautiful. So let's just hang out here for a count of four. So four, three, two, one. If you want, you can come all the way down onto the mat. Or if you'd like to go back to that child's pose, whatever feels good for you. Just stretch yourself out, whatever feels great for you and your body. Now, for our next one, I'd like for us to be on our forearms, but if it's too difficult, I'll show you some modifications. So, we're going to come back to our forearms, inhale, exhale, plank up. Now, take my right arm and stretch it to the center of the room. And then take my left arm and stretch to the center of the room. So, some alternating lifts and lowers. If that's too hard, set those knees down and come onto your knees. So again, do whatever feels good for you in your body today. Nice deep inhales, deep exhales. One more on the right, one more on the left, and then we'll take a break. Beautiful. And again, stretching out in your break, whatever feels good. So, especially since there's only one camera on, we can only see one person. I'm just gonna assume you're just stretching out, whatever feels good. <laughs> Don't worry, we just have one more plank and then we'll move on. So, stretch out, shake it out, perfect. Now, as soon as you're ready, curl those toes under, elbow plank up. From here, try to tap the opposite shoulder with the opposite hand. Again, if you need to, set those knees down and come into a knee plank. So there's no harm in that, if that's what your body needs today. Beautiful, nice deep inhales, deep exhales. We're gonna do four more. So four, and three, and two, and one, and come on down. Perfect. If you need to, stretch, child's pose, cat cow, curl into a ball, whatever feels good for you and your body. All right, so now as soon as you're ready, I'm gonna come up to seated. Everybody likes to sit. And then, now that I'm seated, I'm going to dorsal flex the feet, unless that feels uncomfortable, and then ignore what I just said. Legs nice and straight. I'm going to send my arms long out to either side. And as I exhale, just rotate to the right, back to center, and rotate to the left. And as I rotate, for example, when I rotate right, I'm keeping both of my shoulder blades back and together, like they're trying to kiss one another. Because sometimes when we rotate, especially to the right, that left arm wants to pop out of the socket and follow the right. Pop out of the socket and follow the left. So 
So really try to keep those arms as tight together as possible and just rotate the spine. Also, bring your awareness to your feet. Are your feet sliding side to side as you rotate or are they glued in place and they're just barely, barely moving? Beautiful. Two more. Excellent. Come back to center. Now send those arms forward. Dorsal flex the feet if you can. And just articulate forward. If you want to, you can grab the bottoms of your feet and gently bring yourself forward into a stretch, stretching out the back of the legs. Or you can grab your ankles, your calves, or behind the knees. If none of that feels good, just hang out here and then stretch for a minute. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, stack that spine up one vertebrae at a time. From here, I want to open my legs to what would be a little bit wider than a yoga mat if I was using one. Again, if it feels comfortable, try to dorsiflex those feet. Arms nice and wide. Now let's try that rotation. So rotate. This left arm's going to come a little bit more forward. You'll see why in a second. Back to center. And then when I rotate left, my right arm comes a little bit more forward. You'll see why in a second. And back to center. So again, I'm just rotating, but trying to keep my hips and my heels where they're at. So if I rotate to the right, I'm not swimming those hips side to side. Perfect. Now the next time I go to the right, rotate as far as you can and then lean forward. And let that hand just come forward wherever it may. So back up to center, rotate left, and then lean forward, letting that right hand fall where it may for now. Because we're gonna work up to that saw. Perfect. Now as I lean forward and back, my abdominals are doing that work for me. I'm scooping those abs up and in, keeping both of my sit bones or hip bones on the ground at all times. Perfect. All right, now let's try to get my left pinky the outside of my right toe when I rotate right. So rotate, saw forward, come back up, rotate the other way. Saw forward. Now, my right pinky is on the outside of my left toe. Back up and repeat. Saw, lean forward, back up and over, and saw forward. Now let's add some pulses. So when I saw to the right, I go pulse, pulse, back up to center, to the left, pulse, pulse, back up to the right, pulse, pulse, the last one to the left, and Pulse, pulse. Beautiful. All right, you need to shake those arms out. You can sit whatever feels comfortable for you in your body and find something you can squeeze. So in this case, I'm going to be using our fitness circles, also known as a magic circle. But again, you can use whatever feels good for you in your body. If I sit up nice and tall, shoulders down and back, I'm going to start with my magic circle right in front of my chest. And every time I exhale, squeeze into that magic circle. And then release. So inhale, squeeze, and release. We should be feeling our chest, shoulders, and arms start to wake up and talk to us. So squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. If you have no props, you can do this with your hands. So just squeeze and release. You'll still feel these muscles. It just might look a little sillier than with a prop. And that's okay, because I can't see. I can only see one person today. Perfect. Two more. So squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Perfect. For this next one, we're going to add on to that. So when I exhale, squeeze into my magic circle, keep that squeeze, extend the arms out, keeping the shoulders in their sockets, pull the magic circle back in, and then release that tension. So keep it squeezed the entire way out and back in. Beautiful. So exhale, squeeze, extend those arms out, shoulders down and back, pull back in, release, beautiful. Squeeze, press out, pull in, release, two more. Squeeze, extend those arms out, pull them in, release, last one. Squeeze, press all the way out, keep that tension, pull in, release, beautiful. Shake it out. 
Now I'll give you option A and B for our grand finale. So option A is when I squeeze my magic circle, I'm just gonna rotate to one side, back to center, release, squeeze my magic circle, rotate to the other side, back to center, release. If you want a little bit more from your day, squeeze your magic circle, extend the arms out, then rotate, come back to center, pull in, release. Squeeze the magic circle, press the arms out, rotate the opposite direction, come back to center, pull in, release. One is gonna be way easier than the other, so just do whatever feels good for you and your body today. And again, I'm keeping my sits bones and my lower body still and getting that nice disassociation of upper and lower body. Beautiful, ladies, just like that. <sighs> All right, give me one more to the left, one more to the right, and then we'll be done. So squeeze, rotate, back to center, release, squeeze, rotate, back to center, and release. Beautiful, set this off to the side. You need to wiggle those shoulders, shake those wrists, do whatever feels good for you and your body. Now, if you have a band or some kind of stretchy substance, find that now. I'll show you both with and without. So, don't worry if you don't have one. I'm gonna roll over onto my hands and knees. So once I'm on my hands and knees, I'm gonna start with my right hand, kind of pressing this band between my hand and the floor, and the other end of my band is gonna go around the back of my right foot. So I look something like this. From here, I'm gonna put my body weight into my hands and my left heel, so that my right heel is hovering off the floor. Take a nice deep inhale, exhale, press that right leg all the way out, and pull it all the way in. So exhale, press all the way out, pull all the way in, and repeat, making sure, are your hips neutral? Is your core engaged? Are your shoulders down and back? For those of you without a band, just again, press that leg all the way out and back with just body weight. The band is just adding a little bit extra resistance, adding a little bit more to the movement. And it's just okay if you don't have one. So, I don't want anyone to have to feel like they have to go buy things for class. So just come as you are. We'll make it, we'll make it work. Two more. All the way out. And in. All the way out. And in. Beautiful. You need to quick little mini shake those wrists. Again, I'll show you with the band and without. Come back to your quadruped. Now extend that right leg straight and give me some straight leg lifts and lowers. These are always tricky because if we lift that leg too high, we dump into our low back. And then our low back is really mad at us. So just making sure that we're keeping the hips in neutral. And again, without a band, this is what it'll look like. So again, you don't have to have any fancy equipment for today's class. Perfect. Three more. So three and two. And one, come on down. And again, if you need to, take those wrists out. I know some of us have rich wrist ouchies, if I can speak. So, and again, if your wrists are bothering you, you can make a little fist and trap that band between your knuckles and the floor. That way your wrist stays straight. So you can kind of modify as need be. From here, back to my quadruped, right leg out. Now as I, oh, pardon me, back behind me, now as I exhale, open that leg out to the side and pull back in. Making sure that as I open out to the side, my right hip bone still looks down at the floor. And again, if we don't have the band, this is what it looks like. So just open it out and back in. Now if you're wondering, hmm, can I get a little deeper into that booty? Well, yes, you can. So rather than keep this like parallel, externally rotate those right toes away from you towards the wall beside you and then you try it perfect and then you're like oh there's my booty found it hopefully you're also feeling that left booty a little bit as well four more so four and three and two and one perfect if you need to 
Take those wrists out, give them a little breather. They might be cranky with me. We just have one more, and then we're done with the right side. Lucky ducks having two full legs. We do this all over again. So again, I'm gonna start off with the band and then show without. From here, I'm gonna start with this leg back to tabletop. So kind of how we start, with right legs hovering off the floor. And then as I exhale, I'm gonna fire hydrant out and back down. So kind of like a puppy and a fire hydrant. And I'm trying really hard to keep my knee and my foot parallel. So think of it as you're leading out with the knee and not leading up with the foot. Because then you get one of these and it looks weird. Perfect. And again, if we don't have the band, just look out and down, out and down. Two more. Up and down and up and down. Beautiful. Set your bands to the side just for a second. Extend those legs out long and lay down. <sighs> we like to lay down. From here, if you're like you need it, you can have a little gentle bend or straight. I'm gonna send my arms up to the sky, tuck my chin, nice deep inhale, and exhale. I'm gonna do a teaser prep. So I'm gonna come up as high as I can, like I would do a teaser, keeping the legs on the ground, and then back down. So exhaling slowly, coming up, and then back down. And we've got this lovely weight of the legs that are helping to get us up and down from this kind of modified teaser. So that eventually, when we teaser up, it's very seamless. But for today, we'll just work on those legs. So one more, up, and then down. If you need to, shake it out for a second. Now we're gonna get one leg involved in this action. So now when I lift the upper body up, I'm gonna lift one leg with me. So let's try that. Nice deep inhale, exhale, teaser up, and then down. Again, trying to go as slowly as possible. And let's alternate those legs. <sighs> Perfect. So again, slowly up and down. And slowly up and down. And if you need to, say your legs are really tight, you can bend whatever leg you're lifting. That's okay. If you'll notice that when I do my teasers and lift both legs, my legs get a little tight and I need to bend those knees, then that's okay. And okay, we got this. Perfect. Last one. Come all the way up. And down. If you need to, you can rock knees side to side or do whatever feels good for you and your body. All right. Now, come on up. Grab your band again. Time for that left side. Intermission is over. So again, I'll start off with the band and go without for those of us that don't have it. So the band is going to go around the arc to the left foot. And now my left hand is going to grab that band, come back to my quadruped, cover the left knee, and then press that left leg out and back in. Pressing out and back in. Just your standard tabletop bend and extend. Of course, if you don't have a band, this is what it would look like without. And again, as I'm pressing back, especially if I don't have that band, I'm imagining that I'm pressing through something sticky, like molasses, honey, something with some resistance. And that's actually going to help, that mental imagery is going to help you get those muscles in the legs involved. Two more, all the way out and in, all the way out and in, beautiful. As always, if you need to stretch the wrists or whatever might be feeling crabby at this point, shake it out. And again, if you need to do the whole knuckle, sandwich between the knuckles, the band and the carpet. So now, again, come back into that nice quadruped. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, extend that left leg all the way out and lift and lower, lift and lower. Again, being very careful to keep those hips in neutral. Beautiful. Yeah, just up and down. Because again, if we lift that leg too high, then we're going to get into that low back. How are your shoulders? Are they down and back? Or are we kind of hunched up? Because we're so much thinking about that lower body. How's your core? Is it on? Yeah. And again, if you don't have the band, this is what it would look like without. Beautiful. Four more. So four, and three, and two, and one. Come on down. Again, 
Check it out. Worst case scenario, if it were now your wrists are real, real bumpy, you can come down on your forearms. Just know your booty is going to be really high up in the air compared to the rest of you. And we just really need to bring that awareness again to our low back. Perfect. So as soon as you're ready, again, make sure we have that band on our left foot. We're not quite done with this left leg yet. Spin the left leg straight back. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, open out to the side and back in. Opening out to the side and back in. Making sure that left hip bone is pointed down to the floor at all times and isn't trying to sneak up towards the sky. Again, if you do not have a band, this is what it would look like without. Perfect. As always, if on the other side you were thinking, hmm, I really want to make my booty my own today, then rather than keep this leg in parallel, externally rotate it. So turn those left toes towards the wall across the room and then open and close that leg. Beautiful, four more. So four, and three, and two, and last one. Bend the knee, come on down, shake it out. All we had left in those fire hydrants. So just do whatever your body needs. <sighs> Go to your happy place, head up on the back, you got this. So again, I'm gonna put that band around the arch of my left foot, grab it under my hand, Again, hover that knee into a knee hover, and then fire hydrant up and down. Fire hydrant up and down. Again, without the band, we're just going out and down, leading with that knee. Perfect. So if I lead with my foot, I get something like that, and it feels weird. If I lead with the knee, I'm getting all of those lovely muscles of my legs and booty. And your right booty should be talking to you a little bit by now. I mean, it's a little tired, we worked it first, but also it's stabilizing us. Four more, four, and three, and a two, and a one. Come on down, set your band aside. You need to, again, shake those wrists out, get a little roll, get those shoulders a roll, spine a twist, whatever feels good for you in your body. All right, from here, I'm lay down on my back again. Lay down. So I'm going to make sure my hips are neutral, shoulders are down and back. For now, my feet are flat on the ground. Give me a nice deep inhale. Exhale, bridge up, articulating or hinging, and come on down. So again, you can either flat back up or articulate the spine one vertebrae at a time. As you know, my spine hates articulating bridges. It is not a happy sight, so I stick with hinging. But do whatever feels good for you. So three more, and then we'll move on. So that was three, muscles two, and last one, all the way up and down. Now from here, if it feels good for you in your body, lift those heels up off the floor. Doesn't matter how high, just put some little stilettos on. Nice deep inhale, exhale now, bridge up and down. Ooh, a little bit different muscle activation. Perfect, hopefully you're feeling more of those hamstrings, you might be feeling those calves, depending on if they're a little tired from when we started our day. And of course, our booty. Perfect. All the way up and down. <laughs> Pardon me, all the way up and down. Two more. Up and down. Last one up and down. If you need to rock those knees side to side. Perfect. Now, if we can, I'm going to keep my heels up, ridge up hold my bridge and lower and lift those heels. They don't have to come all the way down to the floor. That's not the important part. I just wanna slowly lower and slowly lift. Slowly lower, slowly lift. Two more, down, up, down, up. Last one, and come on down. Perfect. All right, now, if it felt comfortable to keep on your toes, stay on your left toes, and lift your right leg up. If that doesn't feel comfortable, come down to a flat left foot just for safety. So pick and choose what works for you today and bridge up and down and up and down. Beautiful. Two more. Up and down and up and down. Bend that right knee, set it down. If you did toes on the left, try to do toes on the right or the flat foot. 
as we bring our left leg up to the sky and repeat up and down, up and down, up and down, two more, one, and last one, two, come on down, bend that knee if you need to, again, shake it side to side, wiggle it out, we just have a little grand finale, nothing major, we'll keep it short and sweet. So come back to the left foot, again, on your toes, if you can, right leg up to the sky, bridge up, pause, give me three heel lifts and lowers, after my third one, I'm going to bridge down, bridge back up, three heel lifts and lowers. If you don't want to be on your toes and you want to be flat footed, then the next time you bridge up, give me three straight leg lifts and lowers. That's okay. Perfect. So up, last one. One, two, three. Come on down. Set that right leg down. Again, hopefully on the toes. If not, you know what to do. Left leg up, bridge up. One, two, three, and down. Perfect. Bridge on up. One, two, three, and down. Again, for those of you that are flat footed, bridge up. One, two, three, and down. The last one. Up. One, two, three, and down. Perfect. Again, shake it out, stretch it out, hugging those knees to the chest. Feels really good. <sighs> All right. Now I need to rotate just a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. That way, that way, can be straight. All right, so I'm going to bend my knees, keep flat, arms long, nice deep inhale, exhale, chest lift up, and down. But we've all done this a bazillion times. So, the next time I chest lift up, I'm going to rotate to the left, come back to center, and down. So, chest lift up, rotate to the right, back to center, and down. Beautiful. Up, over, center, down, up, over, center, down. Perfect. Keeping that short and sweet. Again, rotation, chest lifts, not that great for everybody. All right. <clears throat> Pardon me. So, as soon as you're ready, I'm going to sit both legs out long. And the higher they are, the easier it is. The lower they are, the harder it is. Now give me a chest lift. Chest lift and down. Chest lift and down. Two more. Up, down, up, down. Set those legs down. Hopefully you can feel deeper in those abdominals. That's what I want. Perfect. Now, we've done that before, so let's add on as we do. So, send your legs out wherever feels good. Chest lift up, hold your chest lift, and now crisscross. Those legs one over the other. Hold that chest lift. Neck is relaxed. Core is doing all the work for four and three and two and one. And bend those knees and come on down. <sighs> Perfect. All right. Ready for our last one? Yeah, you guys. So now, send those legs long. Chest lift up. Hold your chest lift while I scissor the legs. Ooh, this is a hot one. We've done this one a hot minute. So scissor, and scissor, and scissor, and scissor, four more. So four, and three, and two, and one. Oh, bend those knees in, rock side to side, whatever feels good for you and your body. Perfect. And now we're going to rock so far forward, we rock all the way over. From here. We're back to that familiar cat panel position. And just give me, or quadruped for some cat towels. My goodness, I actually had coffee before class. I can't speak today. All the way up and down. As always, if a cat towel doesn't feel good for you, you can wiggle side to side. You can do a downward dog, a child's pose, whatever feels good for your body. Perfect. All right. So now I'm going to come back to my neutral spine, take a nice deep inhale, exhale, knee hover up, and now go back to those shoulder taps that we started our day with. So I'm holding my knee hover while I go side to side here. Let me see. a little better. Good. Four more. Three. Two. One. 
set those knees down. If you need to sink into a child's pose, cat cow, roll into a ball, whatever feels good. So just shake it out, shake, 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 shake. <sighs> See, that wasn't so bad. A little bit of knee hover. All right. So now we're going to stretch out those hips a little bit. So technically, this is a stretching point. <laughs> so if you can, ideally, we're on our hands. I'm going to inhale, exhale, step one foot back, step the other foot back. I'm in my plank. Now, taking my right foot, bring it as far forward as you can, and then send that leg back and bring the left leg as far forward as you can. So the powers that be have named this an extreme mountain climber. Um, I don't know why, but whatever. We'll roll with it. So sometimes in fitness, we like to name things silly things. We're going to do four more. So four and three and two and one. And then we can come on down. Stretch out, child's pose, cat cow, roll into a ball, whatever. <sighs> nice deep breaths. Move your body, whatever it might be needing right about now. And then as soon as you're ready, I'm just going to move the arm down onto my tummy. So as always, when we're on our stomach, it's super duper important that a couple things happen. First, these bony landmarks of my hip are pushing down into the floor. So my hips can maintain neutral. My belly button is pulling upwards towards the sky to make sure my core is on. If when you're in this position, it still bothers your low back, tuck your tailbone down towards the floor into neutral to overprotect your low back. From here, we'll start off easy peasy, lemon squeezy. My nose is on the carpet. My hands are a little bit in front of my shoulder. And I'm just going to exhale and sphinx up and back down. And if you prefer to inhale up, exhale down, go for it. So whatever feels good for you, as long as you're breathing. As long as I'm breathing. Now make sure that as I sphinx up, my shoulders are down and back in the socket. That way they're not sneaking up, trying to turn into earrings on me. Perfect, two more. And then we'll get to the good stuff. So all the way up and down, all the way up. And down. Beautiful. Once you're all the way down, make any last minute adjustments you need. I'm actually going to open my arms a little wider now and try that space. You're going to notice that it's a lot less arm power and more of our back. You're like, oh, okay. It's nice to be back. Excellent. So, as always, if this is as far as you want to go today, stay here. Otherwise, the next time you come down and your nose touches the floor, lift those arms and then sinks up. So now my arms are kind of in this W shape as I lift up and down. So you're noticing that now this is all your back body. All those big back muscles are helping to lift you up and lower you down. There's no longer any arm help. Three more. All the way up and down. All the way up and down. Perfect. And then you come down you need to shake it out, stretch it out, whatever feels good. Again, if that didn't feel comfortable for you and your body, keep those hands on the ground for this next one. It'll work both ways. So again, pick your, pick whichever one feels good. Hands on the ground, arms floating, things up. Now, rotate right. Try not to let that left arm touch the ground if you're hovered. Come back to center and down. Things up. Rotate left, back to center, and down. This still works if your hands are on the floor. Hold this sphinx up, rotate, back to center, and down. Come up, rotate, back to center, and down. Perfect. Come up, last one to the right, back to center, down. Come all the way up, last one to the left, back to center, and down. Perfect. And again, make any last minute adjustments. We just have one more left here. So I'm going to go ahead. And again, if I can hover those arms, come up, pause, hold this position if you can. And now, really bringing my awareness to my shoulder blades, try to lift and lower the arms. As I lift the arms, squeeze those shoulder blades together. And if I lower them, let them just slide forward a little bit. 
I'm really getting those rhomboids and lower trapezius muscles. Perfect. You may feel your lats because they're keeping up. You're just gonna feel the back muscles. And the slower we lift and lower these arms, ooh, buddy, the better it is. So three more. So three, two, one, and come on down. Now that was so much fun. We're totally gonna do it again. If you don't want to lift your arms, when you stink up, just practice moving those shoulder blades in and out. So that way we can really work on moving the scapulas, getting the wrong boys, and still getting a similar effect. So as soon as you're ready, nice deep inhale, cover the arms, exhale up, pause, hold, nice lift, and slowly lift and lower those arms. I like to imagine I have little weights on my elbows, and that's what I'm trying to lift. Lift those little weights and lower them down. Lift those little weights and lower them down. Two more. Lift and lower. Lift and lower and lower all the way down. <sighs> Perfect. Nice deep inhale, deep exhale. I'm going to bring my hands under my shoulders, tuck my toes under, and press myself up, pass through the quadruped, and come down, try and seated with my booty on my heels. If this hurts to your knees, you can just sit on your side or whatever feels good for you in your body. So listen to your body and do what it needs. From here, I'm going to stretch my arms overhead and again, just lean to the side. How many we started our day with? Just trying to kiss those lower ribs to my hips, come back up and go to the other side. All the way over, keeping those shoulders down and back in the socket. Come back up. And lean to the other way. Beautiful. Now, as I lean over, if I want to deepen this a little bit, my bottom hand, in this case, my right hand, is going to come up and gently grab my left wrist. From here, I'm going to gently, keyword, pull my left arm to the right. So I deepen this stretch through the left side of my body. But gently, gently is the keyword here. Release that hand, come back up and rotate to the other side. If you so choose, the left hand will gently grasp the right wrist and gently give it a nice little pull away towards the left wall. Coming back up. If you need to, interlace those fingers behind the back and then try to pull gently, 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 those hands towards the ground your head and chest will naturally come up to the sky. So that's A-O head. From here, you can rock those hands side to side. If it feels good, if not, please do not do it. And depending on how tight your back is, this might cause a little kinks and cracks and crickles, like little Rice crispy Treats. And then gently release. I'm gonna put my hands on the floor by my knees. That way when I lift my booty up to curl my toes under, I have a nice base. Send your body weight back to your heels. Slowly come up to standing. Once we are back up to standing, I'm going to stretch my arms up overhead. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, roll forward like I'm rolling over an imaginary beach ball. <sighs> Try to touch those hands to the floor or as long as they go for you and your body. If you want, you can shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Those arms, shake your shoulders, shake your booty. If you need to do some prancing to get some additional stress out of the legs, that's fine. And then slowly with your next exhale, stack that spine up one vertebrae at a time. Shake it really, really carefully to let the last thing come up through the head. 